welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do another organizing with me uh, vlog style video so I am sitting um, at my vanity and I need to I think like once a year I do a little uh, makeup declutter uh, because I uh, tend to sort of collect these items um, because my history with YouTube is basically um, sort of viewing videos in the beauty space and I think that a lot of you also have started viewing videos in the beauty space so you get influenced to buy all this makeup and have all this makeup and like try the new thing and like you sort of start collecting things and I um as a professional organizer I have kept this collection sort of smaller um but larger than normal people who don't watch YouTube um, but smaller than a lot of people who do have large collections of makeup. So uh, about once a year I do go through and call everything I haven't been using. I do actually do a very good job of using um, most of the things in my collection. I'm gonna like to the side as you can see my little acrylic thing here um, full of makeup. But uh, you know once a year I go through and I get rid of stuff. So I'm going to uh, have you guys join me in that little journey today. So enjoy! All right, I've moved my little stool so that I, I can have my camera here and that you guys can see what I'm doing. Look, there's my hand. Um, I have been working here. Uh, I put on some makeup today. Um, I have my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette here. Um, this actually uh, does not have a home because I just started using this and um, I'm gonna need to put it uh, with the rest of my palettes here. I actually think I can let go of some of these palettes, so we'll see. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out and uh, categorize it and uh, see what's going on. All right, I've taken every drawer out of that little, um, these are actually in little individual um, modular drawers. I'll put a link to them down below. They're really awesome. They're really beautiful. Um, but I did take everything out because I do have to clean this. It does get dusty occasionally, so um, I'm going to give that a good clean. I did leave the pencils in there. Um, I'm actually going to show you. I left the pencils in there because um, I'm going to declutter just straight from there, and that tends to not bother me as much if it gets a little dust in it. Um, but here are the palettes that were up here. I think Okay, I do like the Shade and Light palette, so I'm gonna definitely keep that. I've been using that. Um, Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. I actually do use that as well. Um, the one I haven't been using as much is the regular Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I only use like one color. Um, and this guy broke, and this guy broke. Um, and I've had it for a while, so I think I might just let this guy go. Right, and here is my Anastasia, which palette is this? This is the World Traveler palette. I do actually use this one um, pretty fairly often. Actually, I use a lot of the Anastasia palettes. This is the self-made palette. Um, this is the Modern Renaissance palette, which I use the most, um, and the Master palette by Mario. I actually do use all of these um, fairly frequently, so I'm gonna keep these um, top shelf. A couple of hourglass palettes I have. This was the ambient lighting edit palette from a couple Christmases ago. I do take this traveling with me, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it top shelf though, because I don't use it that much when I'm not traveling. So this might go in my uh, uh, this might get away from top shelf status. So I'm gonna put that right there. And this is the hourglass um, ambient uh, powder. What is this? <laughs> the ambient lighting. Uh, palette and uh, this is fairly cool it's not as useful to me as this guy because even though the pans are super small in this one this one has um, a couple of powders that I like to use a little more and plus it's got blushes so um, but I do like to use this one occasionally when I'm traveling I'm gonna hold on to it I have used it quite a bit even though it doesn't look like it because the pans are raised powders um, but I'm gonna hold on to it and keep it let's see Oh, here is the Afterglow palette. This gets a lot of use. This was, uh, I think, came out a couple Christmases ago <laughs> at Ulta. And uh, as you can see, I've pretty much um, really assaulted on uh, Topaz there. But I do use this. It's got a couple blushes in it, some highlighters. Take it traveling all the time. Definitely staying top shelf. 
And this is the Stila highlighting palette that was available from Christmas. Again, this is a really cool palette. I do take this with me when I travel sometimes, so it's staying top shelf. And the Becca Ombre Rouge palette. I love this palette. This is a little eyeshadow palette. I use it all the time. As you can see, it's very dusty. I should give this a little clean as well. So everything is staying top shelf here. I'm going to clean off my um, lipsticks and stuff as well. Those are my top shelf lipsticks. There's um, some powders that I like to use. This is um, a really awesome powder from By Terry that I got in Paris. Um, it, I call it the magic powder because it makes you look magically airbrushed. <laughs> and here are some primers that I like to use as well as some um, alcohol. So when I, before I touch my face, I usually um, sanitize things with alcohol first so I don't get, um, just to prevent some blemishes and to keep things nice and sanitary. It's nice to have a little uh, spray bottle full of alcohol as well as um, some tissues at your beauty space. And uh, this is the only foundation I actually own that is not a uh, powder foundation. I have one powder foundation, and which I use most of the time, but this is a liquid foundation, and I really like this one, so I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to give everything a good clean and uh, put it all back. In case you're wondering what I use to clean uh, acrylics, this is the Novus Plastic Clean and Shine. This is great for acrylics. doesn't leave... Um, those little streaky marks on your acrylic because if you've ever cleaned and cleaned anything acrylic you know that uh, just any old cleaner uh, won't do you'll get some like stripes and cloudiness on your acrylic I will leave the link to this product down below Acrylics uh, stuff in the space. It's really shiny and beautiful now. And I'm going to go quickly and uh, declutter some of the uh, eye pencils there. All right, here's what happened. These guys, whoa, shaking the camera. <laughs> These guys are going in the trash. They're fairly old and they're um, liquid eyeliner, so they're not safe to give to a friend or anything like that. So these are gonna go in the bin. And these guys are gonna find new homes. Uh, my friends and family, I just don't use them. They're either like colored eyeliners or brow products that were the wrong shade. I actually um, tried to buy these um, NYX's dupes for the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I didn't like them as much as I do like the Brow Wiz so I wasted I actually spent <laughs> as much money on two of these as I would have spent on, on a uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz so lesson learned there I'm gonna give these to somebody who they might work better for it the color just didn't work for me um, and the rest of these are going in the friends and family bin all right and this bin is the um, single shadow bin now this bin does not get enough love, admittedly. And if I'm gonna be really honest with myself, I really should only be keeping a few of these because I don't use single shadows um, very much at all. I mostly um, I mostly gravitate towards palettes, and uh, so I'm gonna to have to really downsize here. Um, these, uh, I already know are gonna to have to go as much as it breaks my heart because I actually got these in Paris. Um, they're bourgeois, you can't really, I don't think you can really buy these here. Um, they're super pretty, um, really fun, but um, they are a look cream, and um, the when I was in Paris, it was 2014, so these have to go um, in the bin, sad times. Um, this Steal a Kitten, I actually do use, um, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, this is a pigment. I'm never going to use this. I got this in a beauty box and I was like, oh, pretty, I'll use it. And it's still not even, I don't even think it's opened. Yeah, it's brand new. So that's going in the friends and family bin. I'm going to put that over here. And um, before you guys comment at all, all of these products that I'm giving away to my friends and family, they, that's, what's happening to them. I'm not going to sell them on a blog sale. I'm not going to give them um, to anyone else. They just go to friends and family or people who um, I sing with. So I um, just want to get that out there. 
Um, okay, this is e.l.f. This is like a little, I never use this, so that's got to go out. It's got to go in the trash, actually. Um, this one I use, this is actually super pretty. Um, it's like a green slash brown pigment, and I use this one too. This is like when I want to wear glitter and be fancy. <laughs> um, I really like that one. So I'm going to keep these guys. Um, this guy I never use. It's just way intense, even though I do love these L'Oreal um, infallible eyeshadow things. Um, I never use this one and I never use this one. But this one I use on the regular. This is um, Amber Rush. This is super pretty. So I'm going to keep that one and give these guys away. I keep shaking the camera. Let's stop that. Um, these I actually do use. Even this like crazy green color, I use these. So I'm definitely going to keep these. These are one of my favorite things. Um, and uh, this is where it gets tough. So this is like, I do actually use both of these, but they're very similar in color. So let's do a little swatchy poo. This is the Laura Mercier. Do, do, do. And now let's do the Bobbi Brown. Whoops, let's do that. Well, they're very similar. They're very similar and yet different. The top one was the Laura Mercier, wasn't it? I think I like that one better. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Laura Mercier and I'm going to give away the Bobby Brown. Because who needs two of the same pencil? And this, this I got in a beauty box. I'm, I clearly, it's the same color as that one also. I, I, I really think it is. Yes, what is happening here? I can't keep this. So I'm going to get this to a friend. Um, these three Milani... Bella Eyes Single Eyeshadows. I don't actually use this one, so I'm going to give that one away. And I keep moving the camera, which is awesome. And But I do use this one, and I do use this one. So, And I use this little, this is actually a point perk I got from Sephora, but I actually do use this. I think it's really pretty. Um, so I have reduced my uh, drawer down to this. So that's awesome. You'll be interested to know that I got some micellar water to try and clean these swatches and it, uh, my dog just burped. It is really hard to remove that beauty for real swatch. So whoever getting, whoever's getting that, I got to warn that, uh, you're gonna need some, uh, you need some serious remover. Okay. Here is the highlighter drawer. <laughs> I love to collect highlighters. I think highlighting is so fun and I have a bunch of these highlighters and there's no reason I should have all of them, so let's go through and get rid of some. The first one I'm gonna get rid of, I know for sure, is this guy. It's huge packaging, and it's like this little domed powder. Look at this packaging, it's enormous. Um, and uh, this is a glitter bomb, and someone will appreciate it. I do not want it anymore. So this I just got in a BoxyCharm. This is an Artist Couture powder. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. This is Diamond Glow Powder in the color Illuminati. Yes. I'm going to actually uh, take it out of the box because it was in the box. I'm going to use this. I'm going to give it a chance. I haven't even um, opened the sifter yet, so it's brand new. So we're going to give that one a shot. Um, this is another highlighter I got in a beauty box. Um, I do like this one. I've used it a few times. It's nice. Here's another one that I got in a beauty box from the same company. Um, wow, it's really, really pink. Um, I have a highlighter that is very similar from Becca. And it's little, look at it, it's almost, it's very similar. So let's do a little swatchy poo and see who is going to win. They are very similar. Um, this one's a little more of the golden color. This is the um, the Vintage by Jessica uh, Liebeskind, <laughs> if I can read that properly. Um, anyway, I don't think, actually it's super pretty actually. All right, I will keep, I will keep this. But I will make an effort to use it a little more. And of course, I'm keeping the Becca. Becca never goes away. Becca is one of my favorite brands, and I love her highlighters. So she's got to stick around. Um, however, this thing has been in here forever. It's like a 
Tarina Tarantino uh, highlighter. She's got to go. She's going um, it, actually in the bin because um, it's old. And um, this Watts Up. Um, I don't use this anymore, so that's got to go. And um, these have been around for a little bit, and I do like them. I think I got rid of one. I got rid of the lightest, lightest one. And I do actually still use these, so I'm going to keep them around for a little bit longer. This, however, I don't use at all. Um, I got this in a beauty box, so that's got to go. And um, I actually don't use these. Whoa. I actually don't use these at all anymore either. Um, so I'm going to just uh, let go of these guys, even though I think they're really cool. And I actually think this one is still in the packaging. So um, somebody's going to be really excited about that. So these guys got to go. Sorry about that. All right, break. Look who just brought me his ball and wants to play. Clover, I'm in the middle of a declutter. I can't play. Okay, so those guys can go back in there. And um, all of these I'm pretty sure I'm keeping. Um, let's just take a quick look through this. This is a bronzer. So this highlight is this highlighters and bronzers in here. Um, I don't actually use a lot of bronzers. How the heck do you open this? Oh, okay, it's this. Um, I've used this and I actually like it. I'm gonna use it up actually. Um, this, this is a highlighter I've been using a lot lately. This is um, Apricot. It was limited edition, but it's really awesome. You can get your hands on it. It's really nice. Um, subtle for daytime. Um, let me... However, though, and this is a Moonlit, Moonlight from Hourglass. I really like this one, so I'm keeping that one around. However, I think I'm going to get rid of this um, Bronze by Model Co. Um, I just don't use it very much, and it's pretty... I mean, I have used it, you can see. It's just pretty glittery, so it's got to go. Um, and everything else can stay. I think I've done a pretty good job calling that. So let's put it back. Okay, this one is kind of a mess. Look at that. <laughs> it's sort of a mishmash of, like, Brow products, um, eyeliners, and mascaras. So um, right away, I know that probably some mascaras have to go. I think this guy is old, the Roller Lash, and um, the primer is kind of old, and I don't use it very much. The Hypnos Drama, as much as it pains me, is super old. <laughs> um, and I think the rest of these are fairly recently opened. Um, this is like... Girl on Maxi Lash and um, Bobbi Brown mascara. So these are the three mascaras that I'm gonna keep using. Um, what is going on here? Oh yeah, that's right. I I was in a Hilton Head or something. No, I was in Vegas and I was looking for a brow product and I bought this Wet, wet and Wild um, brow pencil and the little spoolie came off. Um, this isn't. It's actually not bad, um, but this is a very badly made product. So I think I'm gonna um, part with that as well and this is my Anastasia brow wish she's not going anywhere she's awesome and I use this uh, Sephora eyeliner every day so she's gonna hang out as well um, this is a white eyeliner I only use this on stage but I still have to keep it um, here is another black eyeliner that I've just been using up um, it's not as good as the Sephora one but hey she can stay this is a NARS primer best eyeshadow primer ever uh, this is a brow gel that I've just been using up. This is a Lancome eyeliner that stinks. He's going to have to go. Um, oh, it's an eyelash glue. I haven't, I, I should just buy a new one. This is a fairly old eyelash glue, so she's going to have to go and be replaced. This is my little um, tweezer, isn't it? It's not adorable, so adorable. Um, but she actually doesn't really belong here, so I'm going to put her someplace else. Um, Tardis. Eyeliner, this is all right. I'll keep using this one. And, um, oh, this is another mascara. I don't remember when I opened this. This is the Dior show. Well, you know what? It's going to go because I don't remember the last time I opened it. Um, and these are eyeliners. I'm sure these are fairly dried up. Yeah, this is a, like a L'Oreal liquid eyeliner. And this guy, and this is a brown L'Oreal liquid eyeliner. I mean, actually, that one's pretty in pretty good shape. So I'll keep that guy. And um, let me see if this one, you know what, actually, I'm going to just buy a new one. It's ridiculous. Um, so this stuff has to go away. That was easy. Wow, look what's left. That's kind of amazing.
In this drawer, I have a little thing, a little, this is actually a little Amac box, Amac box, and it's full of primers. And uh, these I still use. This is a little, like a little professional and like a little Tatcha sunscreen. Um, and this is a, this is actually the um, Allen wrench for my vanity. So we're gonna keep that in there. I got a little erase paste. This is the only concealer I own and I'm gonna keep that. Um, and this is the uh, foundation I wear every day. This is the Too Faced powder, Cocoa Powder Foundation. Um, whoops. And I have a little contour kit. This is the only contour kit that I use. And I really like it. So I'm going to keep it. The rest of the stuff in here is very suspect. And it also looks fairly dirty in here. So this little powder, um, I've been trying to use up. But I think I'm just going to let it go from Tarte. It was something I got, like a sample I got. But it's like, blech. Um, your minerals, Sweden. I, you know what? Again, I got this in a beauty box. Again, look, haven't even opened it. Gonna give it to a friend. I can't handle it. Um, this is a sample of pore vanishing stick. Well, I have to try this on my next make makeup application, so I'm gonna actually keep it out. And uh, this is a little HD powder. I've used a lot of this, but I feel like it's time to say goodbye to this. I do use um. That hat by Terry powder, I really like a lot. So I think I'm gonna let this one go. Maybe I'll let a friend have the rest of this sample. I think I've gotten him to sit quietly by giving him a little uh, bully stick here. Oh my God, look how dirty his feet are. What, like, what have you been doing? Oh my gosh, I have to give him a bath. Dirty dog, dirty dog. Okay, smaller eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Why does this drawer even exist? I'm not sure, let's take a look. All right, wow, what is this? I feel like I got this in a beauty box. Oh, I'm never gonna use this, it's gotta go. Um, this, oh, this is so pretty. I love using this if I'm going out um, somewhere. It's very sparkly, I love that, so that has to stay. Uh, and then there's this. These are the Eyes of the Window palettes from Stila. I actually do use these. Um, I take them with me when I travel sometimes. That one's all matte, super pretty. Um, so I'm gonna keep those guys around. And here's a Tarte palette. This was like a couple summers ago. I really used the heck out of this. Don't use it so much anymore though, actually. So I may be letting go of this guy. I think it's time for him to go. I don't really like it that much, so it's gotta go. And here is a little, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this. How sad is that? <laughs> I actually really like this. Um, this is a Stila palette, and I take this with me traveling sometimes. This is super nice. It has two blushes and some eyeshadows in it and a highlighter. Love this thing. Keeping it, it's the bomb. Um, Tartlet in Bloom palette. I haven't used this enough. Uh, gonna give it another chance before I declutter it, so I'm gonna hold on to that guy. Um, this is a little Dior palette, which is adorable. Um, I've actually never used it, so maybe you might have to go. I think you have to go, little guy. He's got to go. Brutal. It's so adorable, though, but, I mean, let's be real. I've never used this, so he's got to go. And a little Too Faced action over here. We got the Natural Matte palette. Honestly, don't use this anymore. you got to go painful you guys natural eyes palette I actually really do like because it's got all these beautiful shimmers in it so I use that um, fairly frequently um, let's talk about the a la mode palette though um, actually I'm gonna keep this one because I really like this color and this color and this color I actually like this palette I use this um, the uh, NARS narcissist uh, dual intensity palette I actually do use this sometimes and it's really cool I do like single shadow looks with this so Keeping that guy, um, what's happening here with the brush? Okay, there we go. So that guy's staying, Tartlet and Bloom is staying, Stila is staying, and Lil Nars is staying. So I got rid of quite a few little palettes in that guy. He's going back. All right, this is another like random brow tools place. So I need to work this out. So there's some brow stuff in the other one. Let's actually, let's take them both out. Let's let's deal with this right now. Like, what's what's happening here? What is happening here? So I've got a couple of brow things in here. Like, this is a brow thing, and this is a brow thing. 
So I'm gonna actually just put all the brow things in here. So I've got a little brow set here. Um, this is actually really nice. I like this um, Rimmel Brow This Way set. Um, and I've used this, shaking the camera. Oh my gosh, shaking the camera. I've used this. This is, um, I got this in a beauty box, but I've used it a few times. It's really nice. It's a little powder brow set, but then I have this guy too. This is new and I haven't ever used it. Oh, isn't that sweet? Huh. Well, I'm gonna hold on to both of these for now and see which one I like. I haven't actually used this one yet because, shocker, I forgot I had it because I never go in here because some of my brow stuff was in another place. Um, so basically it's brow stuff and, and tools. Um, so I've got a sharpener and um, this is a new um, eyelash brush, which I, brush, <laughs> eyelash comb, which I use frequently. Um, and I'm gonna put my eyelash curler in there too as soon as I clean it. So um, I think this is totally fine. I don't think there's anything in here I need to re really get rid of. I think it's all totally fine. So we're gonna put that guy back. <laughs> the blushes, let me adjust the camera here. Let's see, okay, I have Blushes are my weakness. I, for some reason, I love to put pink, pink powder on my face. I don't know what the deal is, but I have a thing with blushes. So this is gonna be hard, but we're gonna do this right now. Okay, these two Clinique blushes, I really like. I use these all the time, so those are staying. Um, this stuff, these Becca guys are definitely staying. Um, I love them. This, this palette, oh, I love this. I take this with me traveling all the time. Look at it comes with like six, well, five blushes and a highlighter. Well, really like four blushes and a highlighter, depending on your skin tone. Um, these are bomb. I mean, I'm hanging out with this. I have a thing for, I guess you can see I have a thing for NARS blushes, even though I know that NARS has been involved in some controversy lately. Um, really like this guy. He's staying. Um, this is perhaps getting a little bit old. Um, let me just uh, take a quick little swatch and a sniff. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? This is going in the bin. Smells off. Uh, and it's got the texture has changed. So you've got to go. Sorry. I really liked this, though. This was like the Becca Beach Tint in the, like, watermelon or something. Um, it was really nice, but... You're done. All right, this Benetent I've been holding on to forever. I used, I just, I did actually use a fair amount of this, actually most of it. Um, I did a good job on it. It's gotta go though, cause it's super old and it's gross. So you gotta go. Um, this Becca um, Beach Tint. Oh, this is the Becca Beach Tint? What was the other thing? I don't even know. Anyway, this guy I've used fairly recently. Um, it still smells really good, still applies really nicely. I really like this in the summertime when you have like no makeup on, you just throw that on. This Milani blush I have used like hardly any. It's just, it's super pretty. It's just so pigmented, it's really hard to use and it's got a lot of glitter stuff in it. So this is gonna go to another home. Okay, here's where it's gonna get super awkward and difficult. Okay, this Tarte. Little blood. I never use this guy. He's like way light. I I've used it a few times. As you can see, like the the embossing is a little hard to, harder to see. But I think he's gonna need another home. However, this one I use a lot. This is super pretty. It's um it's like a gold pink. It's amazing, and I use it all the time. Um, and this hourglass blush is not going anywhere anywhere at all because it's amazing, and I love it. Um, makeup geek. I got this in a beauty box. Oh, it's so pretty. I haven't used it enough. I'm gonna give it a little more of a chance before I let go of it. Um, Rocketeer I do use sometimes. Um, it's more of like a highlighty kind of thing. I'm um, gonna tell you right now that the NARS blushes um, are not going anywhere, sorry. <laughs> however, however, I think this Instain blush has to go. This is so pretty. Um, it's like a plum blush and I love it a lot. It's, I think it's matte too. Um, actually, is it matte? I don't know. Anyway, I never, I never use this. So I think it's gotta go. Um, so these guys are going. Um, none of these guys are going because I'm obsessed with all of them. I use them all on the regular. Um, these Tarte blushes, I think are gonna have to stay. I really like these. 
I use them all on the regular blushing bride, um, exposed, keep it in the camera, natural beauty, and achote, uh, which is like one of my favorite colors. So the rest of you guys can stay. So we're gonna just uh, put these back. Since you came, why it's a shame how she cools them down. Feathers, she can't get the feathers. She ain't met. Georgia claimed her. Georgia named her. Sweet Georgia Brown. Sweet Georgia Brown. Sweet Georgia. Sweet Georgia. Sweet Georgia Brown. Okay, guys, here is the finished product. Um, so I have decluttered a lot of this space. This is basically um, my top shelf beauty space. I do have some drawers down in here, which I'm going to be doing a little later in the week. Um, and trust me, this is going to be kind of rough um, because there's just more makeup in here. So uh, that's going to be beautiful. But next, we'll save it for next time. Uh, so this is the top shelf stuff. Um, as you can see, I have decluttered a lot of what's going on in there, a lot of what's going on in there. A lot of what's going on in there. This is back to normal. <laughs> it's got tools and stuff and brow stuff. Uh, a lot lighter on the smaller eyeshadow palettes here. A little lighter on the blushes, even though I still have an obscene amount for any normal person. I have one face, but I just love blushes. I have a thing. These are the regular um, lip products I like to use. Um, this hardly well this changes sometimes i switch these out for other products um i do have a lip drawer down here um that's going to get reorganized soon um this stuff um this is actually an eyeshadow so this belongs <laughs> down in here um these are like primers and stuff um and they got two lip pencils left and like it's only a few eye pencils which is great uh, up there and uh, some brushes. This is my brush cleaner. I use this all the time. Um, my top shelf eyeshadow palettes are here. And uh, this is actually where I put dirty brushes before I wash them, just so they're not out. Uh, I find this works really well because that doesn't let them get piled up too much. Um, and I actually clean my um, eyelash curler on the regular too, so that goes in there until it's time to wash. Um, here are my face brushes. Um, and this is a really cool little thing for all of my eye brushes. I actually have them separated by category. I've got shader brushes in one, uh, blending brushes in another, some highlighter brushes in another. This is really cool. This is from uh, Umbra makes this. It's called the Tubo. I'll leave a link down below. Um, and I've got you know my regular mirror and then I've got my super amazing sensor mirror which if you stand in front of it, it magnifies and makes you look amazing. Actually, the first few times you look in this, it's really shocking because you can see all your pores and everything. Um, but you, it magnifies a lot and you can see really well. And now I can't do my makeup without it. It's amazing. Um, it's from Simple Human. Again, I'll leave a link down below. It's the best investment you'll ever make. This is a $200 mirror, but I mean, it's bomb. You'll never do your makeup the same way again. Um, and above my vanity area, I just have, um, this is my perfume area. Perfume lasts a little longer, so uh, you can hold on to, you know, a little more perfume than you'd like. Uh, but as you can see, I don't buy that many full sizes because I like variety. Um, so I can go through these little, like, rollerball sizes, but I can, I, I hardly ever go through a full size. You can see this bottle is still full, um, and this bottle is still fairly full, even though I wear that a lot. So... Um, just be mindful of how, you know, the, the size you're, you're, you're buying for perfumes. And here I've got other little sample of, of perfume in this little latte bowl, super cute. And I've got my rings on this uh, Eiffel Tower ring holder, which is also from Umbra. And um, my tissues are up here, <laughs> so that when I make a mistake or if I have to clean up really quickly, uh, I have a place to grab some tissues from. So that is my quick uh, decluttered vanity tour. And I'll show you the things I am uh, getting rid of. So here is the box of things I am giving to friends and family um, so they can have at them. And um, here is the things, here is, is the things, here are the things I am throwing in the garbage because they're old or expired. And uh, I'm going to get to editing this video before Clover <laughs> sleeps all day long. I think I'm going to play some ball with him later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this decluttering, organizing video with me, and I hope you'll join me later in the week for uh, those drawers, which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> They're gonna be a little bit rough, 
Uh, anyway, so uh, I hope I inspired you. And uh, if you liked this video, please like it. If you have, if you're not part of our family, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.